What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to cover a new exotic weapon as well as cover the fact that we now know how to get this epic looking set of weapons that we have seen in various Castle Osiris trailers that have dropped to the interwebs. But before we go any further people, do you want to win some epic loot? If so, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server linked in that video description. Okay, so over the past week, we have had a few new details drop on the Curse of Osiris DLC. Details about the raid activity, details on the story, and a few other details here and there also. But word of any new exotics have been scarce. Nothing really has been mentioned, uh, which to be honest doesn't bother me at all. It just means Bungie are keeping hush on them, which I do appreciate. And I enjoy the fact that we will have surprises when the DLC comes. But there has been one confirmed exotic that we know of that exists within the Curse of Osiris DLC and it's called the Colony. This was indeed that voiced grenade launcher we saw within the teaser trailer dropped a few days back. We literally saw it for a split second. Uh, but many people did speculate about it. Now according to PC Gamer, which can be found linked within the video description, they stated this when talking about certain loot they obtained while playing the Curse of Osiris expansion at the Bungie Studios. I did manage to snag one exotic during my playthrough, a voiced grenade launcher called the Colony, which you guys can see on screen now. It uses insectoid robot grenades, which scurry around looking for a target if you miss your initial shot, which, it being a grenade launcher, you often will. Still though, I have to say I grinned every time I fired it. The reload animation even had a frame of hesitation in it, which is either because the clip is magnetic or your guardian is unsure about handling living nades. Either way, it looks sweet. Now that to me just sounds incredible, a true exotic weapon for sure. Now how impactful these insectoid rounds are, we are yet to discover, but the basis of this exotic grenade launcher sounds absolutely epic to me for sure. Now moving on, ever since the first Curse of Osiris trailer we've seen a certain set of unique looking weapons, ones which I said were definitely Vex related and could even be the new raid weapons. Now all of that has been put to bed, this unique set of weapons are obtained via normal gameplay it seems. The weapons I am talking about you can see on screen now. They have one unique looking design which screams to me Vex. So if you guys watched the stream the other day you will know a little info on these already but if not don't worry that's what I am here. Within the lighthouse on Mercury upon completing the Curse of All Souls campaign missions it offers we basically get sub quests to gain weapon parts so to speak which we can forge together right here within the lighthouse. This on screen now is basically a history tracker for what we've already forged. There are 12 in all, so 12 unique looking weapons, but I'm guessing armor are here too. So once the gear piece is obtained, the marker will light up to notify you you have that piece. This sounds like the kind of end game we like. Let's just hope somewhere within it though, there are items which are needed for such gear that drops on an RNG basis. This in my opinion will add to that end game we love for sure. It excites me even more though the fact that these are actually Mercury subquest weapons and not raid weapons as it means we will eventually see a whole new set of weapons and armors so to speak that will come from the Eater of Worlds raid lair. That I cannot wait for. This weapon set is truly unique, even in no time to explain reskin, that looks great to me. What also interests me here though, is the fact Osiris himself seems to be using a variant of this weapon group within the trailers, so hopefully there's more to them and we learn that also. They did say on stream that these are the weapons Osiris has basically taken and used that Vex knowledge to basically evolve, so that sounds pretty sweet too, I cannot wait to learn more on them. Another thing though is many many people thought these were going to be exotics, many made videos on stating this is factual while in fact it hasn't been confirmed yet. I actually doubt they will be exotics but hey what do you think? Let me know down below within that comment section. Also let me know what you think about the colony exotic grenade launcher. Instead of them wolfpack rounds this thing's got insectoid rounds. Sounds pretty cool to me. And on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did leave it a like it really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people I will see you on that next one.